I'm old, grey, fat and ugly, which is why I'm not going to appear on screen. I'm also very short of patience. And this thing, for about a year, has been testing my patience. The device itself is fantastic. This is the thing that tests my patience. I would say this is virtually unfit for purpose. Yes, it is keyless and you don't lose the key. But look, I'm just going to give you a silly example of why this is so frustrating to me. And look, that's locked in there about as tight as I can possibly get it. Now, this is on high speed, normal clockwise drill cutting, okay? Now, here's the problem that I'm finding. I will be using this drill, as you would do, and you go... You can hear this very serious snap action break as you take your finger off the trigger. And look. That's what I mean. Unfit for purpose. It unscrews itself after just a few operations. When it comes to using it for tapping, when you want to clamp something really snug in there, you can't. Any big drills, you can't clamp them. They just rotate in the chuck. So basically, I've run out of patience with this thing. And I've been out and I've spent a fortune to go back to the Stone Age. And for about six pounds, I've bought myself some old technology. Today we're going to go back to something that works. This is about six pounds. You can get them from eBay. I got this from a, a local supplier and it wasn't much more expensive than eBay, but it arrived after I ordered it yesterday. So how do we go about removing this chuck and replacing this one? Wind the chuck fully open. There might be a hex key in there, but generally you'll find that it's a crosshead screw. Normally you tighten a screw up by going clockwise. This one is different. It's a left hand thread, so you have to rotate it clockwise to undo it. So we do two things. First of all, we'll put it into low gear, number one. We'll put it onto screw mode, just to make it even stiffer to operate. And we will set this here to its mid zero position. So we've got the chuck roughly as tight as it will go. Remember, we've got to turn this clockwise and it might be a little bit stiff to start with, depending on how long you've had your drill. When it's undone, you'll feel it going click, 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 click. And then you can just remove the screw. Don't lose it. Now comes the tricky part, getting this off. What you'll need is the biggest key in your collection with the longest handle you can possibly get. We're going to clamp this in the chuck you're going to use this as a lever. Now, although this screw came out left-hand threaded clockwise, this one on here, and there is a screw thread on here which holds this chuck on, is a normal screw thread. So what we're going to do is we're going to threaten it. Okay? Now, you can't be gentle with this. You have got to be quite brutal. And eventually give it a good old smack now, after being a little bit brutal, you'll find that the chuck will come off. Now, before you take it off, it's a good idea to take your key out. And there we go. There's the thread that I was telling you about. It's always worth removing the chuck before you buy a replacement. Because there are basically two sizes of replacement that you can get. There are two standard threads that these drills have. A smaller drill will probably have a 3-8 thread. But just to be sure, just check that this one, which is a half inch, has got, that's a half inch by 20 TPI thread on there. And if you look at the specification for these chucks, you'll find that they're half inch 20s. So this chuck will fit perfectly on that thread. Whoopee, I'm nearly there. I'm getting happy and excited already. Okay, so now we reverse the process. We're gonna put this in here. And this time we don't need to be quite as brutal with it. We just give it a bit of a, and then undo the chuck jaws completely and screw the chuck back on. So remember anti-clockwise and give it a good old twist to lock the screw into there. You're not going to take that chuck off again, so don't worry about over-tightening the screw. You can't over-tighten it, but you can certainly make sure it doesn't come out. So now 
I no longer need to carry my mains drill with one of these chucks on because I found a chuck that fits a portable drill. Am I happy? Whoopee!